RCS or Rich Communication Services is a carrier messaging technology that lets users send high-res photos and send larger files aside from being able to chat individually or in a group. This also lets users know when their messages are read and know when the other person is typing a message or a reply. This is like iMessage of iOS without the exclusivity to Apple users and is carrier dependent. Though this technology is relatively new, most carriers are already supporting this feature nowadays. Like here in the Philippines, our major carriers are already supporting the RCS. However, many capable Android devices are still not configured or updated to enable this feature in their stock messaging app. This video will teach you how to enable this feature on the stock messaging app on your Samsung Galaxy smartphones. The first step is to install the phone app from Google itself and set it as the temporary default phone dialer. Once installed and set as the default dialer, go to its dialer and key in asterisk, pound, asterisk, and pound, then 4, 6, 7, then pound, asterisk, pound, then asterisk. A new window will launch which states IMS settings. Click the IMS service switch and check if the header indicates your current network provider. In my case, it is Globe PH. If it doesn't, you may need to restart your phone to make it appear. Otherwise, it may be that your carrier doesn't support the RCS yet. Once confirmed, go back to the main screen and scroll to IMS Profile and click it. You should see an RCS profile from your carrier under the General Profile section. Click to open it and go to the service line and also click on it you will see a list of abbreviated services. Go to either the LTE or Wi-Fi section and take note of all that are checked. In my case, these are the IM, FT, HTTP, Options, GLS, and Chatbot Communication. Once done listing them, go back to the main screen and then open the IMS service switch again. First, switch on the RCS switch, then scroll down to the RCS section. Here, we will switch on only those services matching to what we listed earlier. In my case, these are options. IM, which stands for Instant Messaging. FTHTTP for File Transfer over HTTP. GLS, which is for Geolocation Share and chatbot communication. If it's your first time to configure RCS, you will be prompted with this. Just input your current mobile number corresponding to your current carrier. Wait for a few seconds to get an update from your carrier server. Now let's check if you have successfully registered your mobile number. Just go back to the main screen of your IMS settings and go to IMS Information Line. Open it and check if IMS registration is already set to true. You should also see the RCS profile under the registration information. You may need to wait for a few minutes depending on your carrier. If it still remains false after a few minutes, you may need to manually trigger RCS registration again. Go back to the main screen. Open the IMS profile and click on your carrier's profile. Click the three dot menu and click manual register. After that, recheck the status again in the IMS information. After doing all of these steps, go to your stock Samsung messaging app and force stop it.
And when you open it and go to its settings, you should be able to see a new additional line corresponding to the chat settings. If you don't have the RCS yet, try this trick now on your Galaxy smartphone. I hope you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. Thank you for watching!